Okay, so here we are with the Petra wallet ready and installed. I hope you guys have installed it uh, already. If not, just comment down below and uh, I will show you how to do that. Uh, okay, so let's check out the Petra wallet. So it's a Chrome extension you might have already known. So let's just click and see what we are getting. Uh, okay, I think uh, you will get the password prompt thing first uh, where you just have to input your password and then you can see this uh, this section uh, I had just opened my I mean logged in my Petra wallet, so it didn't appear in my case uh, Okay, so whatever let's just start with the home section. So let's see what we're getting in the home section so first of all we have our account name here shr and our public key here which is also the wallet uh, we can you can say just wallet address and the balance which is zero apt a send button to send your tokens to buy the tokens here this is the option again then no assets yet you can see here uh, it is displaying no asset yet because we don't have any cryptocurrencies right now uh, in my account we will add some of the cryptos later on uh, okay so the next thing here in the top right corner we can see there is an icon let's just click here okay so we just see I have got so many different accounts inside the same wallet that also means you can create it I mean different other accounts inside a single wallet as well you can do it from this eight account thing we just go here and here you are getting four options you can use any of these options to create a new account but the easiest one and the fresh one you can create from is uh, this option create new account all you have to do is just click this create account and uh, you know just copy your reveal phrase and create you can you can do that i think uh, okay so the second one is the imp uh, import private key whenever you are just uh, moving from one browser to another browser or one uh, pc to another you might be uh, in need of transferring your wallet too so you can do that from exporting your private key and then you can just import inside uh, your another system using this option so regarding the mnemonic and ledger we will learn uh, later on for now i think that's enough for this section the second section is the library section so in this section all of your nfts will be listed collectibles basically means nfts here if you buy or receive any kind of uh, nfts they will be displayed here but whenever you receive the nfts they will first appear here in the pending section you have to accept those nfts only then it will appear in this collected section all right and uh, also you can see here this topers of a uh, blue move so they are basically the up to nft marketplaces where you can also see the volume the trades and uh, every other information the ranking of the nfts the different nfts that are being launched we will also learn about how to you know that launching the nfts and uh, creating them how you can deploy them and uh, all other stops in the later coming videos uh, okay the third one is the activity section in this activity all of your transactions and d app interactions will show up here you know basically your transactions of cryptos and nfts whenever you make our uh, purchase or buy anything like that you know that those stops they all appear here the last one is the settings so the first option here is the edit option you can just rename your account i think i have already done it uh, okay so the second tab is the main net i mean the network tab so here we get the different types of networks like a main net test net dev net and uh, local host Okay, I will make a separate video on these networks, how, why and how they are, you know, they have been created for what purposes. Uh, for now, uh, just keep in mind that the mainnet is our, uh, the real one where you store 
your real cryptos and the test net is for the testing purposes where you get some test tokens to try you know just to make your to develop your app that's where you need the test net and even the devnet is same but uh, we will learn the differences later on videos so for now just remember these tabs because we will be switching to the different other networks more often so that's why and the other important section here is the managed account section uh, in this section you will i mean you can export your private keys just enter your password and uh, you click the next and you will be able to see your private key uh, private key is something that you don't share with anyone you lose your private key you lose your wallet so keep it safe and that's the reason i'm not gonna show you to do it yourself and uh, there are a bunch of different options as well you just explore them yourself and get to know it so uh, at last we will conclude the important section first of all uh, okay so in the home section uh, this asset section is important the balance one of course the account changing section the library where you store the nfts the activities of your transactions and in the settings we will be remembering and reusing this section the network and the manage account thing so keep these things in your mind we will use in the later videos okay that's it for this video